Good morning, Dix. I just wanted to come on after my interview with Carolyn Cattle and see what you guys thought of it. Now, I know that most full-time jobs are eight hours a day. Now, my interview with her was two hours and 45 minutes. Then I did an hour of the Frazee case. Now I'm going to possibly do another hour, which is approximately four to five hours, about half of a normal work day. And I'm going to make bukus more than you guys donated to me to pay my rent on these videos. Now the main reason I'm on, I'll just be honest with you guys, is because I conned everyone into joining Patreon um, as a ploy because everyone knows that mods can delete comments so these flying monkeys could not have come in and disrupted the chat as I uh, claimed. So, after getting you guys to join Patreon and the backlash of the $5 tier, which is Winston's tier, guys, not mine, if you do the $5 tier, I give all of that money to Winston. Now, what he does with it is none of my business, but that's who that's for. But anyway, guys, after the backlash, I have opened up the $1 and $2 tiers. Now, I did not realize that $5 was that big of a freaking deal. Of course, when you're spending someone else's money, it's not. But anyway... I did open it up, but the main reason I'm here is because after I've made this money from the Patreon, I want to come on and do another video so I can get Super Chat. Now, I knew that it's prime time in the United States right now. Where's everyone at, guys? There's only a hundred, there should be a thousand people in this room right now with it being this time in the United States. It's 2.15 here in the morning. Um, what time would that make it in the United States, guys? Can someone tell me? Uh, I'm a brilliant detective, but I can't subtract five hours from um, 2.15 a.m. to realize what time it is there. So I need someone to tell me, please. Also, guys, I want to let everyone know I'm letting you guys know first. I'm not going to release this in Patreon first. I'm going to tell you guys. But I heard that I'm going to be nominated for a Pulitzer Prize after my interview with Carolyn Cattle. Now, can you guys believe that? Because what made my interview different than all those other channels I never talk about was the fact that not only did I ask the questions, but I analyzed the micro data as the information flowed in from her. That is what makes my channel. And I asked the probing questions that no one else had asked, and we didn't learn anything new. <laughs> Brilliant. How much longer, guys, is this going to go on? I don't know. That's up to you guys, isn't it? But I will tell you this. After the revelations that has come out after the Carolyn Cattle interview, this takes, the case takes a whole new highway, a whole new route. And soon in the next few days, I will have a new video up for you guys on where this case goes from here. Now, I will, that's, this is all great news, as you guys can hear. There is a bit of bad news I learned in the interview. I know this lady, Diane, has been claiming my shadows for months. But I've learned in the interview that someone else is now claiming my shadows. Apparently, Chris Watts is claiming that he saw the shadows first. And that's completely false, guys. 
I seen the shadows three days before he watched the video at Nate's house on CCTV. I'm ahead of everyone, guys. I know more information about this case than the FBI and CBI put together. I, I just don't get it, guys. How can he claim to see the shadows before me? If you find a video on YouTube before mine, I don't know what I would do. But that's the bad news. I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on the great news. The Carolyn Cattle interview, which will probably win me a Pulitzer Prize. Now, just to let everyone know, I hear Braun Moxley has a great show over there on his channel. So, I normally talk about other channels. You guys know this. That's a lot I talk about, and then I say I don't talk about them, but uh, I never lie. But I heard that he's going to have a great show on tonight, so you might want to check that out. I can't believe I just said that. But um, after my family encouraged me, they said, Pop, Pop, don't let those haters distract you from the mission of bringing in the money so we don't have to work. Please, Pop Pop. Isn't that disgusting that they call me that? A lot of people think it is. I don't. I don't think a lot of things are disgusting that most of the normal world does. What's all these bright lights? Super chat. Thank God it paid off. I come on here after my interview with Carolyn Cattle and it's paying off. Look at the lights. Anyway, guys, I must go now. I've been awake for about 22 hours. Um, I'm wore out physically and mentally. I'm drained. Drained. These bright lights are going to... I don't know what's going to happen. I can't believe Chris is saying he's seen the shadows before me. So now it is Diane and Chris. And from what I learned in the interview with Carolyn Cattle is the fact that Chris Watts calls me Shadow Man. So I'm thinking about starting a second channel on YouTube called The Shadow Man, where I play a superhero going around discovering shadows. Of course, that will also be a third channel of my poker channel from my world tour of true crime and poker. We all know those two things go together like oil and water. Anyway, guys, I have to go shopping. I need new clothes. Oh, wait, I, I found my luggage. Oh, so I tell so many lies, guys. I, I, I lose track and I, I don't, sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. Like right now, I'm lightheaded, I have ringing in the ear, and I'm dizzy. And it's probably from all the crop that is spewing out of my mouth. Anyway, guys, I'm going shopping. I need to get some more of my expensive aftershave, which also is known as Brute. Lovely. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And make sure you tune in to that good-looking chop, Bron Moxley. Good eye, guys. I know that's Australian. What time is it in Australia, anyway?